Oh, and I was muted. Hello, everybody. Welcome again to Game to Team to be in D Live. The Dungeons and Dragons live stream where a group of high school friends attempts to play Dungeons and Dragons remotely via the internet. With us, as always, we have Steven playing the roles of both Drom and Fenric tonight. Tim playing the roles of both Vinny and Twizzard. Aaron playing the roles of both Agnes and Lily. And Chris as Plyus the Cleric. I am Sean, your ever faithful and humble DM. And this is b and Live. a little recap uh, from last week's epic battle. Uh, <clears throat> it was still Dillick, uh, a little before 1 p.m., and battle was raging. Uh, unfortunately, the animals fell to an amazing set of guard attacks, uh, but Talon retaliated with amazing speed as Twizzard gets revenge for the fallen animals with another fireball. Sir Penn attacks, then poofs to the balcony as outside various folks get healed uh, and then knocked unconscious again as Falrith Having used some spells to defend himself, also unleashes his own fireball. The peasants fight on inside, dealing a good amount of damage to their cruel king, until in a last burst of strength, he cuts them all down. Right before Fenric, a dagger from Lily, and eventually a not-so-sneak attack from Vinny, end his reign for good. Outside, a depleted Falrith swoops down, grabs the unconscious Pelias, and disappears in a burst of arcane energy, much to everyone's dismay. Uh, as the looting begins, uh, we broke for the night. So we're going to pick things up. Uh, it is around 1 p.m. on Dillick. You have a guard prisoner. Uh, you didn't kill one, and we decided that you guys uh, took him prisoner. So he's tied up. Uh, of course, the unconscious place was taken by Falrith. And I think, actually, we're going to check in there, because I had Plyus do some rolls before session. And we have an interesting situation brewing here. Uh, Pelias has woken up. He has had the benefits of a long rest. Falrath seems to be sleeping in the corner in a chair. Uh, and Pelias, you looked around, and I forgot to mention that your weapons are actually over on the side. Mm. Um, in a very high perception check. And you have managed to free one of your two hands. Uh, so we're going to pick up right there and say, what would you like to do? Okay, um, I'd like to send in stone the uh, Tam to uh, let them know what I what I found out so far. Your sending stone does not work. Ah, blocked. Okay, bad reception in here. Seems. Uh, awesome. let's see then. In that case. Uh, let's see, so, Falrith, is he, like, snoring? Is he, like, can I see his eyes? Uh, with your perception check earlier of above 20, you can see the sort of slow rise and fall of his breath, um, and his sort of head is down like this. You can't, mm -hmm. like, see his actual eyes from where you're tied, but... Mm -hmm. Okay, um, can I do, uh... A spell. You have one hand free, so if it's verbal and Semitic, I'll say yes. All right. So then I think I'm gonna try to do this. Um, let's see here. Which one's this? Uh, do I know if I have any like debilitating effects right now? Um. Or I guess aware of. I guess if I if I did, yeah. Why don't we do that? Why don't Why don't we just do detect magic? Out of the first level. 
Okay. And let, let's let look at, like, can I look at myself and the room, or do I have to just look in one place? I mean, your head is, you can, you can look at, you know. Okay, I, I can do it for up to 10 minutes, so. 220 degrees type of thing. Yeah, within 30 feet of me. Okay. Um, is your amulet in a... It's in a pouch. It's in a pouch, okay. Yeah, so it's a protective pouch, so I shouldn't be able to see the magic from it. Um, yeah, I go for it. Okay. Detect magic. And is that verbal and Semitic? Uh, it's detection. So uh, is uh, the casting, does it have a V and an S near it? It does have a V and an S. some other crazy things in your inventory I took a peek i took a peek in your inventory we should we should talk about this sometime but um uh, most of your stuff is over in the corner um so looking around uh, uh -huh. the auras that you see uh -huh. are all your own okay um even if i like look out the window Correct. If you look out the window, you, you again you see a few trees nearby, uh, and mm -hmm. you do you hear the the rushing of the water. Okay. Um, can I can I find familiar? You can't you can't find your connection to your familiar. Mm -hmm. Um. But I mean, like, is it another spell to like bring them there, or I can't. I can't bring him there. Normally, so once you cast Find Familiar, right, you can use an action to mm -hmm. damp him in. Mm -hmm. uh, you can't feel a connection to him. Okay. So I can't, so do I, I guess the question is, did I try and I failed? So like I, I use a spell slot? Oh, it wouldn't be a spell slot. It would just be an action. Oh, just an action. Okay. Yeah, the spell slot would be if your if your familiar has been destroyed and you need to cast him again. Then you need like. Oh right, uh, right, right. The, yeah, that's right. Because I already the, had him out. The okay. And the, yeah. Okay. Can I feel around myself to see like do I still have the pouch with the amulet? Do I have anything on me? Uh, you do. You have the pouch with the amulet on you. Okay. Um. Let's see. So if anything, you feel a little groggy going back to that. You ask I feel the, about, you're asking about your current state. You feel a little groggy. I'm feeling gro groggy. Yeah. Okay. You're definitely still heavily wounded. Yeah. I'm going to do... Um... Oh, so wait. I With the long rest, do I still have damage then? You do. Do, do I know how much? <laughs> Good question. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, uh, let's say like five hit points. I have five left. Yeah. Okay. So then I would like to do. Uh, wait. So that's minus. Um, what was sixty-eight? Yeah, sixty-eight. Okay. So I would like to do uh, another spell then, if I can. Okay. And it's called, uh, which one is this? Um, this one, shoot, where is it? It's the spell that where I like touch something and it can't die. It like just goes back to one or something. Spare the dying? Spare the dying. That sounds right. Yeah, that where's would that be, one? You would, you would touch something that's unconscious and that has to make death saving slurs and you would stabilize it. No, that's it's a different one. Uh, let me see. Lesser restoration. No. Uh, prayer of healing. Protection from poison. Beacon of hope. Uh... Well, I might as well do that. Let's. Can I do a beacon of hope on myself? It, it bestows hope and vitality. Okay. 
And then I have advantage on wisdom saving throws and death saving throws. And I regain the maximum number of hit points possible from any healing. All right. It's, it's another yes. And is that verbal and semantic? Yeah, yes. All right, so you ca you start to cast that spell, uh -huh. and Falrith wakes up. Okay. And he sort of looks over at you, and he gets up and he walks over and he says, "Hmm, hmm. Elias, you uh, your hands come loose. We uh, we wouldn't want you uh, doing anything you shouldn't." So uh, I'm gonna have to uh, tie you up again, okay? I'm sorry about this. He goes to start to tie your hand up again. Um, can I can I give him like a a, a punch and then a kick, or can I can I fight him off? Uh, roll an attack. All right. He's an old man. You can get him. Slap him across the face. Yeah, slappers only. <laughs> uh, do I get do I get to modifier or is it just a straight D twenty? Uh, what does it say for your unarmed strike? Unarmed strike. That's what this is. Unarmed strike. Unarmed strike. Yep. Here. Unarmed strike attack. Uh, unarmed strike. There is plus five. Okay, so I got twenty three. Oh shit! Okay, so you you like he goes to like bring your arm down, and you just like throw him forward with so much strength that he like stumbles and goes like over the gist to the wall near the window, and mm -hmm. with that your chair sort of cracks and you fall into the ground and your things are like loose now. Nice. Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay. Um, actually, we should. And, probably... and I can. Yeah. Well, we'll okay. just say that was. Yeah, we should roll initiative. Let's roll initiative. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, you got this, Elias. We'll, we'll, say that was a, we'll say that was a uh, surprise attack. All right, what do you got? I got a six. All right. Uh, Falrith gets up and sort of, like, looks at you, and he's like, What do you want, Plyus? Why are you... What is it that you want? But he doesn't approach you. You, you, you kidnapped me. You, you, we were in a, you know, regular old fight, and you, you kidnapped me, man. I want to be free. I'll Can't set you free. No, I'll set you free, Plyus. Uh, and you can tell he's starting to do something, but you're, you're up. What are you going to do? I'm gonna do that that spell that I was trying to do, the the one where I don't die, or no, the one where I have vitality. Okay. Uh, yeah. So, well, if I could find the one that I, that I don't die, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to do the. Ah, shoot, I wish I could find that one now. The cure wounds, no. Spiritual weapon, uh, prayer of healing, no, misty step, plus restoration, uh, third person, healing word, kind of command. Um, I get, yeah, I'll just do the. As you step uh, to your feet, your staff the python jumps to your hand. Oh, really? Yep. Okay, well, we can uh, release that one, I guess. Okay. Where did I get my stuff? You release it? Yeah. Okay, All right, so you're like throwing it at him? Yeah. All right, roll and acrobatics. No, it's like. Uh, initiative for that guy? What's that? You said initiative for that guy? Oh, yeah, that's true. I guess it has its own initiative. Well, you're, yeah, well. I don't yeah. remember. It should. But you're throwing Does... it at him. How mm -hmm. well do you throw it at him? Or actually, yeah, okay, roll initiative. Roll initiative for it. You got a 15. Does he, does he have a modifier for initiative? Probably not. I don't know. 
Uh, what? Right. So it's it's uh it's attacking him. Uh yeah yeah. All right, roll for that attack. Okay, and then what do I add for his attack? Where is it, Darren? <laughs> You need me to be on my game. Yeah, just for my my Python. Oh wait, I got it. Oh, plus five. I got it. Uh, so fifteen. Nice. All right. Um, all right. The staff seemingly jumps to your hand. You throw it, calling out the command word. It unfurls slams into him and knocks him out the window. Wow. Can't take his snakes. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay. Is it my turn? It's your turn. All right. So let's do that uh, vitality thing that, okay. that I was trying to do. Okay. Uh, uh, what, what, what did I call it? Uh, inflict wounds, now healing work, got involved. Guardian of Fade. Death Ward. Death Ward! Oh, Death Ward. That's what it was. You touch a creature and grant it a measure of protection from death. The first time the target would drop to zero points, hit points. As a result of taking damage, the target instead drops to one hit point and the spell ends. That sounds pretty good. You should probably cast that on more people. Is that a concentration? No. No, it's not. It's, it's a VS touch duration eight hours. All right. All right, so you so, cast that on yourself? Yeah. OK. There's probably a bunch of potions bubbling around in the room, right? You could probably drink a bunch of those. They'll probably heal you. Yeah. Or no kill. potions that you can <laughs> Oh. OK, do I get to do more stuff? Yeah. OK, can we try to free the other hand? Oh, you're completely free. When the chair broke, you're, you're completely oh, free. okay, great. So let's let's run over the window. Yep. Okay, what do I see? Uh, you look out, and you'd heard the running water before, and you're basically mm -hmm. call it twenty five feet up, and there's sort of mm -hmm. this bend of this rushing river underneath. There's no sign of fall. Okay. Right. Okay. Can I misty step down to the river? Sure. Cool. Let's misty step, and then I'm gonna walk water. On all right, road. all right. You are prepared for this situation. Nah. <laughs> it's coming up. <laughs> Glad I had a, a, a rest there. And then I'm gonna um, basically like run across the river to the other side. All right, all right. Um, it is maybe 25, 30 feet here, so easily done. Uh, you're, cool. you're taking off these spell slots as you do? Yeah, so I did, let me run through them. I did a level one detect magic. I did a level two misty step. I did a level three, um, two level threes, a water walk and something else. And then a level four, I did the death ward. Okay. Yeah, I think I got them all. All right, you run across the other side. There's thick woods all around. Okay, let's let's hide in the woods. And let's do do I do I oh, did I did I get my stuff? <laughs> you did not get your stuff. Damn it. <laughs> Damn it. Um all right, then let's just grab that amulet. Okay. You have your amulet. All right. Uh what happens? What happens? I don't think I've worn it for very long before. Oh, are you putting it on? Yeah, oh, I'm putting it on, yeah. Okay, and just sorry, remind me which enemy it is? I think I have the darkness one. No. Is that all right, guys? No, you have the serpent one. Oh, that's right, okay, I got a serpent one. We don't really know what that does so much. Do we, we don't know what it does yet. About to find out. Probably good. Wow, okay. Um... <laughs> all right, you... Uh... <laughs> Yeah, it was, hmm, let me, um, huh, talk amongst yourselves for a moment. <laughs> How do I? 
You're putting here. on the surfing amulet. Amazing. Uh, yeah, I forgot to bring the rest of my stuff, so that's all I got. <laughs> yeah, no, that's that's fair. Uh, this chaotic situation. You're held captive. You saw your chance. You had to get out. Yeah, yeah, it's true. Yeah, no, that's super good. Um... But then you went out the same window he went out, right? No, I pushed him out the door, I think. No, oh, you yeah. pushed him out the window. Oh. You the snake, Where'd he go? The snake Did I not see him when I went down? The snake knocked him out the window. Sorry if that wasn't clear. Oh, okay. Cool. So he probably also missed his step to the ground, then water walked across the river and is hiding in the woods. It's right behind Good you. Thing he's hiding. Good thing he's hiding in uh, the other side of the woods. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I like, I underestimated him. He threw snakes. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay, sorry, sorry. Um, gosh, what the heck does... I, I just can't remember what that one... This is the wrong case. God bless America. Are you looking for a snake? Let's I'm see. Mine, for... um, mine lets me fly, but also it'll turn me into a dragon. <laughs> and there's a spider mm -hmm. one that will let you web people up. And, and crawl up walls. Things. Yeah, but also uh, turn you into I a can... spider. I can find it. I can find it. I'm guessing I'm going to turn to a snake. There's the shadow one. I guess you're just a big sneaky shadow. You can go through small cracks and stuff. But then you might accidentally also turn into a big sneaky shadow. Well, he's been darkness before. I did the darkness thing mm -hmm. um, in the jail. Right. Mm -hmm. That's why I thought I, I still had that one. Spider thing. All right. All right. I found it. I found it. I found it digitally. What is that? Oh, come on. What is going on here? Why does he have a... Okay, 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 okay. Uh, you feel... What do you feel? You feel... Um... Hardier. As soon as you put it on, you feel hardier. Uh, and you Hardier. feel uh, you feel this sort of arcane energy welling up at your hands. It's 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 at your beck and call if you want to use it. It seems uh, yeah. extremely familiar, though. Sounds good. It seems extremely yeah. familiar. Let's use some arcane energy. <laughs> All right. Where are you when you do this? In the woods. In the woods. Okay. Like behind the trees, in the, in, in the trees somewhere. Okay. Um, you, <laughs> you feel effectively no difference. You you let the energy loose, uh, and you feel no difference. Nice. Yeah, interesting. That'll show them. Mm. Yeah, yeah. So... <laughs> Can I see anything like by the water? What can I? Did I see ball rats as they came out, or did I? Did I see uh, the snake? Uh, make a perception check, but then also make a wisdom saving throw for me. Okay, that was the perception check. That was nat twenty. All nice. right. Um, and my perception is plus seven, I think. Nice. All right, so twenty-seven. Uh, so the snake, he. You're throwing off of of him and the sort of the, the lunge forward which broke the chair and threw him against the wall near the window. The snake then knocked him out the window. Mm -hmm. You then jumped out the window, mm -hmm. misty stepped to the ground, cast water walk. In that whole time, you saw no sign of him or the snake. Interesting. Do the wisdom saving throw for me. Okay. Wisdom is plus seven, so I got eleven. Okay. Um, yeah, you 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 have let some arcade energy loose, so you're not sure what it is. Um, you feel about the same as you did. Okay. Uh, all right. Well, let's go through the woods. Let's uh, let's start traveling. Okay. All right. 
As you travel through the woods, we're going to pause and go back to the other group. All right. You guys are still uh, gathered around the body of King Shunox of South Gorson, formerly of South Gorson, now deceased. Uh, you searched his body, you found some keys, some other stuff. Um, what would you like to do? Do we want his head? Oh, yeah. Lily is very good at beheading people. She has that really nice uh, two-handed axe from the previous sub-captain. No, captain. One of the captains. That may be, but she might now be able to wield a longsword with a dragon-themed tilt. Mm -hmm. I mean, well, you know, there would be something prolatic about beheading him with his own... With his sword. own sword? Ooh, we have to do that. Well, Lily is technically proficient in heavy weapons, so she could try. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's dead. You're not going to hurt him. I mean, I don't necessarily need to have the long sword because I have the great axe. I mean, like, if someone else who's proficient in heavy weapons wants the long sword, Mr. Trizzle I could take it, it. I could take it or leave it. You can't. You're not proficient in any weapon. I can still hold them. <laughs> Mr. Trizzle picks it up and swings it down and chops his head. I feel like the long sword is twice the size of Mr. Twizzard. He still tries. You're trying to... Okay, give me a strength check, Twizzard. No sweat. You're, you're trying to use this weapon. Is that what you're saying? Blown away, yeah. Uh, 19 plus 1, 20. All right. Uh, I was having... standing behind the potted plants for most of the fight. I saved my strength. Having never used a longsword before, uh, you take it free, and you bring it down, uh, cutting like nine-tenths, basically, of the way through the neck. Is he nearly headless? Um, and, mm -hmm. of course, the lifeless body without a heart to pump blood, uh, it just starts to, like, ooze out everywhere. Um, oh, that's it's, gross. It's that's pretty gross. gross. What a mess. It's pretty gross. Uh, uh, I just kind of wiggle it and try and chop middle, little chops for that last ten. Oh, I keep making noises the whole time. Oh, <laughs> Talon, Talon turns away, as does uh, yes. Sir Pen. <laughs> I'm just trying to pull it off now. I just dropped the sword and used both hands. He's using a pocket knife. Uh, you get it off eventually. Yeah, this is gross. All right. Uh. Oh, this wasn't even the right guy. This is one of the guards. <laughs> <laughs> no, the guard, the guard, however, is just like staring wide-eyed as you do this. You have a feeling he's becoming more and more compliant by the second. Lily turns to that guard and she says, a head for a head. He just looks at you. He doesn't know what that means, but he's scared. Oh, no. Well, has he not seen what happened to Kitty Law? Oh, yeah, he doesn't make that connection because I didn't. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was the first head I ever took off. Can't wait for my second. I look up at the guard. <laughs> you have advantage on intimidation checks. <laughs> oh, should I roll that? No, only if you want okay. to. No, that's all right. But if you did, you'd have advantage on it. I will instead roll the head. The head is completely, completely off. Oh, over to Fenric so that Fenric can put it in oh, his yeah. bag of holding. We, should we wrap it up in something, or should we just put it in the bag? bag of disaster in there with all the stuff we put in there or it really is hard to there. come off there it goes <laughs> whoa there it goes oh. <laughs> heads will be roll heads will roll <laughs> quite literally Finner, are you putting it in the bag what are you doing uh, no should i sure oh we don't need to keep it in the bag we, we can just it carry it by itself yeah just we'll have the bag of heads but then like the... well like for the townspeople so yeah. Like, well, we'll keep it in the bag until we need to do the thing to the townspeople. Yeah. Um, I think Both that guys. Lily needs some uh, healing, so I guess Agnes will will use. Oh, we all do. I think we all need healing. 
Yeah, but I don't know how much Agnes can actually do. I mean, she's only going to be able to do cure wounds. Can Pen technically do any of those things, or? No, he's just standing there, not saying anything. I know. <laughs> really? Maybe he's tired. Maybe he wants to take a nap. <laughs> uh, yeah, I could. Um, let's see. What do we got? We got. We got. We got. What do we got? We got. Uh, we got some stuff. He's got some stuff he can do. Trump's been pretty quiet too. What's that? Drum has been pretty quiet too. It's yeah, open, it's true. Open bunch of, bunch of quiet people. Um, yeah, let's say that he uh, he's like, oh, uh, I remember I can kill people. And, uh, I guess he says that, right? <laughs> uh, has he really not used Channel Divinity this short rest? I don't think he has. <laughs> Oh, he has 15 left in his Lay on Hands pool. So he can give out 15. That's easy. Uh, maybe he needs some, but I think there's others that are more wounded than I am. I think that it's uh, Finric and Lily that might be yeah, the Fenric, lower end. Yeah, Finric and definitely Lily. Two and eight. I have eight whole points. Yeah. All right, so he, he gives 15 to Lily. And then... He's gonna cast. What is he gonna cast? What does he have? Who made this character? What is going on here? <laughs> How does he not have more healing spells? He's a paladin. Because I think, he wasn't made to be a paladin. I think he went damage. Yeah, he went tank. Mm -hmm. He's got a lot of cool things. Mm hmm. Yeah, I think all he can do is that is that fifteen that he has left in his lay on hands pool. Oh, does Fenric want some of that fifteen then? Mm. Or um, Agnes can yeah, give you um, cure wounds. Okay. So let me bring up. <sighs> all right, I, I gotta, gotta get move the rest of that. Course. All right, I've removed it from oh. his pool. If he asks why, I'll blame you guys. All right, so um, Agnes casts Cure Wounds on Fenric at level spell slot level one. So that's a one d eight plus four. Let's see what she gets. Oh, eleven. Nice. Pretty good. Very good. Uh, Twizzard conjures a big bandage and <clears throat> on Fenric. Uh huh. There we go. So Lily's like, um, now that we're kind of healed, do we care about the fact that Farith took Polias because we probably should get him back, even though I don't care personally? Polias, what now? Where's the treasure room? But my dad would be <laughs> upset. I mean, if we're free of Polias for like a week, I'm all right with that. Oh my goodness. No, we gotta find him. <laughs> I mean, I want Polias to come after me. All right, I blow into my setting stone. This thing on. Polias. No Let's response. Drone starts looking around. Uh, See if he sees Polias. Yeah, there's a couple of the parts are, you know, still smoldering, but I think you put out the bulk of the fire, so you don't see Polias, uh, but... Dry. So we can't find Polias because we don't have find person. Does Talon have find person? Uh, Talon turns her back around now that the head chopping off is, is completed. Um, I'm sorry, uh, what was the question? Talon, do you have find person ability? I'm excellent at tracking, but I do not have uh, that arcane ability. Okay. Uh, well, I know that I don't. Hey, Agnes, do you have any of those abilities? No. <laughs> <laughs> I could sing you a song. Do we, this is Talon, do we feel like the immediate danger is over? There is that group of refugees to the north with my 
demon bear that I'd like to get back to at some point. I think it's just Falrith now. And if Falrith is none of your concern, then you can go back to your bear. Say mm. hi to him for me and scratch behind his ear. He might be some of your concern, though. He said things about you when you weren't around. <laughs> Not very nice at all. <laughs> so you might want to come get some. Assuming that's where we're going. I mean, th that was the guy that took the last, right? Yeah. So we'd, we'd probably start at his house, at least knock and ask. What if it's a no-knock resident? Well, we have to bring a lawyer. No solicitors. <laughs> well, we're in trouble. Uh, should we go check out um, Palmer's house? You've got a you've got a guard tied up. Uh, you've got some townsfolk somewhere uh, who were was led by Reggie, sort of you know doing some some cleanup. Uh, it's up to you though. Uh, should we check out Paul's room? Would that help? Since it's right there. Maybe he's got, um, maybe he went to his room. Okay, I'm gonna make some dead news. <laughs> Alright. I think Drum's the only one who knows where the room is. Alright, um, Drum, where, where's uh, Paul's room? Hmm, uh, I thought these. There, there. Okay. Was he right? He just pointed at the ceiling. I think he pointed. <laughs> no, the up and over. Oh, okay. Well, Agnes would know. Agnes was outside watching that fight. That's true. And she cast a cloud of, cloud of daggers, so she would know. Yes, that's a very oh. good point. Good, 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 good. Was good I right? Point. Yeah, that's pretty much his room over there. Okay. Okay, uh, Vinny goes outside and starts climbing the wall. <laughs> <laughs> climbing the wall, okay. Um, all right, you managed to climb to the top of the wall. Instead of just going through the castle? I don't know the way. <laughs> don't try. Well, uh, okay, sure. Uh, roll uh, athletics. The way it was pointed out to me was the window outside and to the left. All right, uh, athletics is safe. Not my specialty. Or acrobatics. You can go acrobatics. Wait a minute. I know. I that... rolled a one, and I have a negative one, so I got a zero. Even though it looks like it's a 13. I rolled a zero. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you how, go out. Wait, did on. you roll for Vinny? That was for Vinny, yeah. How do you have negative one for acrobatics mm. or athletics? It's athletics, not acrobatics. I, oh. You, you could yeah. do either, but it's still not going to be great. No, it's going to be nine. For acrobatics. Oh, all right. It's I'm not your best performance. Um, the archer is sort of like watching you and like sees you like <laughs> stumble a few times and scrabble, but you like finally like get yourself up to the top and he's like, "There's there's, there's a staircase right over there." <laughs> but you're now on the you're now on the roof near the window of the tower room of Falrith. Sweet. All right, I uh, I go in the room. Okay. Uh, you go in the room. <laughs> There's a door. Um, there is a uh, bed. Um, there is a chest at the foot of the bed, and there's a chair with a small table, and on the table there is uh, some parchment and a candlestick and a pen. Very quickly, um, Finric just saw someone that he doesn't really know and doesn't trust go into Falworth's room, so he's just going to follow along. Just All right. Are you trying to be stealthy doing this? No. Okay. Just like it's still like it's natural that another person will go with them. Let's see your uh, acrobatics as you go up the wall. Assuming you're going up the same way Vinny did. Do I? Well, no, I can just walk up it. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> you probably get in there before Vinny does. Yeah, just as like Vinny like, window for him. Just as Vinny hops in the window, you're like whoosh, up to the top and the archer's like, Looks at you and, like, <laughs> deferentially gets out of your way as you go up behind. All right, Vinny, you're in the room. You're being watched, but you may not notice it. 
Oh, Fenric's behind me. Oh, but I don't know it. Well, he's not trying to be stealthy, so I guess you know it. Uh, I hide. <laughs> what? All right. I... All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hold on. So if you're going to try to hide, so give me a perception check to see if you see him coming before you jump in the window. And... Uh, ten. All right, Finrig, you're not trying to be stealthy, so give me a stealth check at disadvantage. Ten. <laughs> All, right. All right, Vinny, Vinny, Vinny catches you out of the corner of his eye. Now, Vinny, give me a give me a stealth check for hiding in this room with a single bed and a single chair and a single table. Oh my god, these walls are terrible. 14. Alright, you decide the bed's your best option. You scoot under there um, just as Spinner comes to the window. Spinner, give me a perception check as you look inside, expecting to see Vinny there. <laughs> Goof balls. Uh, 18. Uh, you see... <laughs> It's like it's like when a kid hides and thinks they're completely hidden, but their like cloak is like outside the end of the bed, and you're like, but he's underneath the bed. Uh, is there anything underneath the bed? <laughs> oh, oh uh, I start um, wiggling my way out. Oh nope, nope, nothing under there. Oh I take a good close look. <laughs> thought thought I saw some stuff in the way back, but it was uh, just, just dirt. So, all right. Yep, just yep. Just wanted to make sure. Yeah, I get up, brush myself off. Hey, how are you? <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm a little sleepy. Yeah. Um, so, look at this blood. blood. Some of it's mine. Gross. Yeah. Cool. Man, I tell you. <sighs> so, um, so uh, what are we looking for? I don't know. I thought um, maybe that guy that disappeared might have been up here because this was his room. It's pretty close to to get to. Yeah, yeah. But I All right. Haven't found him yet. Even looked under the bed. <laughs> Not under the bed. Have you checked under his pillow? Uh, I haven't gotten there yet. So, but maybe you could. Yeah, I'll uh, check under his pillow. All right. All right. There's nothing under the pillow. Very thorough. Okay. It's riveting. riveting. Yeah. So. Uh, <laughs> Um, well, I look in the mirror? uh, sorry, and now I'm looking around for the first time. I just go to the nearest, like, furniture thing and start looking at it. All right, give me an investigation check. Okay. Vinny is welcome well, to do this. Uh... 16. Um, uh, down by the side of the bed, there is a chamber pot, uh, unused currently, or it was mm -hmm. cleaned recently. Um, on the table, the, the most things of note is uh, there's sort of a half-written letter um, making reference to a mining operation. Um, making reference to a mining operation, and it seems to be being written to the king, and it is proposing that the timeline gets stepped up. For the mining operation. Uh, it is unfinished though. That is mu as much as was written. Gotcha. Um, the chest of drawers is uh, locked. Mm. No, not the chest of drawers, the chest at the foot of the bed is locked. Uh, hey, hey, Danny? Mm -hmm. I turn around. How are you with locks? Oh, I can pick my way out of anything. Uh, How about in? Yeah. <laughs> I never tried in so much. All right, let's give it a shot. <laughs> so I, I bend down and I uh, pick the lock. To try to. All right, roll your d6s. All right, uh, how many is it? Is it per tumbler or something? Uh, this would be three, plus your plus your your proficiency in your lock picking. So you could roll five, and you just need. Oh, in my five. All right, so I'm rolling a total of five. Yeah, yeah. You're and you're only in trouble if you get more than two ones. Uh, I'm not in trouble. I got no ones. Okay. Yeah, it pops open under your expert hand. Nice. Um, 
It's unlocked uh -huh. now. All right, I lift the lid up and stand back and aim the contents towards Vimmer. <laughs> <laughs> so you do like a, yep. Okay. Um, the only thing inside is uh, a change of burgundy robes, probably with underwear. So I know you're gonna ask, um, or undergarments, I should say. But yes, um, some other uh, pieces of parchment, and that's it. Uh, Vinny grabs a piece of underwear. <laughs> Under garments. Do I'm, going to, I'm going to grab the robe and put it in the bag of holding. All right. Mark down both those things in your inventory. Someone probably should bring the parchment for Mr. Twizzard. Ooh. Uh, I grab the parchment. Sooner if you know that. Yeah. Yeah. One of you grabs it. Okay. I don't know right. why I grabbed this. Yeah. It's nice parchment. Spell quality parchment. Hmm. All right. Um,. I think I'm gonna go back downstairs. You're gonna take the stairs this time? Yeah. I don't know where the stairs go, but I know where the window goes. Okay, so you open the door to the stairs, uh, which was locked, by the way, but you can just unlock it because you're on the inside. Uh, and there's sort of a tight spiral staircase down. Oh, that's much easier. All right. I just go down the stairs. Uh, it opens up onto a corridor. Uh, there's a, a door off to the right, uh, and there is a door off to the left at the end. Uh, I take the door that leads me to the common room. Yeah, you you would know. That's the one that I write. So you, okay. you, 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 you enter back in. Right. In the sort of back area. You come out. One of the doors that the guards were used earlier when they entered from the back of the room. All right. I go over to Twizzler and I say, hey, can you use this parchment? Oh, oh, oh I was asleep. Yes, I can. Thank mm -hmm. you very much. Mm-hmm. And check this out. Then he holds up the Palmer's underwear. Hilarious. Twizzer reaches on into his pants. Look what I got. Oh! Wait, because you're wearing them? No, no. I still have the um, the underwear that I found the sending stone in. Okay. All right. All right. Yeah. So they both have a pair of Twizzers. Or, um, not Twizzers. Um, Palmer's, Palmer's underwear. underwear. I love it. Besties. Mm -hmm. uh, Fenric, what are you doing? Are you... You're not here. Did, did we... Do we decide who gets the king's amulet and the key ring? Did you did you follow Vinny back, or are you doing something else while you're out and about the hotel or the castle? Okay, I guess. Uh, no, I guess I'm not doing anything out and about. I would just follow him back. Okay. All right, so you're back there. Now. Um, sorry, I don't think you guys said. So there was the cracked amulet. Uh, there was the big set of keys. Uh, did you pry the gems out of the helm? No, but you said um, right. The so, amulet with the crack in it, key ring with lots of keys, long sword with dragon theme. Yep. Uh, Large emerald, two rubies. Right. Two hand axes, one kick ass shield, chain mail, and uh, yeah, the the jeweled helm with two rubies on the sides with an emerald in the middle. All right. And a head. Is that sword one handed or two handed? It's a long sword, so it's probably two handed. Okay. Uh, so no, Fenric, uh, no one has laid claim to any of that stuff. Would you like to? Uh, yeah. Well, I mean, what, what do you guys want? I don't think I need all that much from what he's got. Can anyone identify the cracked amulet? Who or is that just uh, Polias? I have identified. Uh, do I have it available? A different story. Uh, I also am hesitant to use a spell slot at the moment. Oh, but I might not need to. Oh, so I've got this weird thing. It's a ritual for me. So you can spend 10 minutes plus one minute. Yeah. Yep. You can do that. Do I need to buy another pearl? I think that was a big thing with this. No, I think you just no. have to have a pearl. Okay. Yeah, All right. Correct. I did buy it the one time. All right. Yeah. Uh, so uh, I can identify it for you. Want me to do that? Sure. All right. I, uh, I take it. I go sit in the corner. And then I realize it's the corner near the decapitated girl by the guillotine, so I move to a different corner. <laughs> that corner's yeah, broken. I, I took her away here. Maybe she right. goes back with her head. Pretend it's not on her body. So All I'm right, so you go, where do you go? 
I'm, I'm just at a different corner because I just got bad vibes from the far corner. I think Willie is probably going to try to wrap up Kitty Law yeah, in, there's, there's, in a sheet or something. To like be fair, that. there's also a bunch of guard bodies and four uh, peasant soldier bodies. Uh, yeah. So let's say you probably clean Maybe up. Agnes, Lily, uh, Talon, and Penn can do those things. Yeah, that and sounds if good. If Drum wants to help out because Drum looks like he could probably carry two people at once. Yeah, you got you guys tend to the dead. That sounds that good. That is true. All right. Uh, all Who's right. going to have the prestigation up that blood because not doing that. I just looked. I could do a cubic foot of cleaning. That's going to take a while. So. Well, then I guess Agnes will cast a ritual of unseen servant <laughs> at 10 <laughs> minutes to get. <laughs> how, how, what, how often does it rain this time of year in South Gorson? Fairly, fairly often. I mean, uh, so you it uh, there's not a hole in the roof. We're inside. I thought we were outside. That's how Paul Red threw fireballs at us. No. That was, I mean, he threw the fireballs outside, but that's that's out here. That's out, out, out here. Outside. Right now, you're in the you're in the main. The throne room. Yeah, okay. the throne room. All right, identify. Uh, uh, this is an amulet of pairing, and it is attuned to another amulet, and if either person dies, the other amulet cracks. Oh, so his is already cracked. Someone else died. <laughs> his girlfriend. Did we find an amulet on her? Or... It doesn't. You don't have she to had, have two. She yeah. had an amulet that had. Oh, but hers wasn't cracked yet because his was still. He's still alive. Who has her amulet? I have the parapet of wound closure, but there was a second amulet that I think Finric took. I, did I take another amulet? What, I probably would have marked that if I had. So it would be cracked now if it wasn't before. <laughs> I'm just gonna tell you. Gotcha. <laughs> Spoiler. Does it just give you the ability to know if the other person is dead or alive? Effectively. Okay. But in this case, it's kind of used up, right? Like, mm. yeah. Stupid right. amulet. <laughs> well, I mean, okay, so what do we want to take to try to sell? Like, obviously, the, the helm, the um, sword. This kick ass. This kick-ass shield, is it any special shield, or is it just a typical shield that would do plus two to armor class? That's what it is. Okay. But it does have the helm of South Corson on it. Or not the helm, the... Uh... Symbol? Yeah. Eh. We could sell that. Well, the only one who uses a shield here is Polias, right? Um, Agnes uses a shield, because she's a uh, uh, college, college of valor. Oh, okay. So. Yeah. Oh, Drom does too? Drom has yeah. a shield? Yeah. I thought he was just blue. It, why is that? I mean, I'm a part fighter. Why does that surprise? They're mutually exclusive. You can't be blue and have a shield. Yeah. <laughs> oh, can't back that up. Okay, I mean, that, I don't think that's rules as written. But, um... <laughs> it's, it's a homebrew rule. Yeah. Home blue. Home blue. Oh, wow. Uh, um, I'm guessing the chain mail is typical chain mail, so Agnes's chain mail would be the same. Yeah, this is a little. Uh, actually, no, it's about the same. It's not. I was gonna say it's fancier, but it's not. He was a pretty hardcore king, so it's not like it's. It is more. Uh, it probably wouldn't fit her because he was a beefy dude, and she's a. Yes, spider. it would have to be. It would have to be altered by a armor. Yeah, no, armor, so. Armor <laughs> Agnes does not need any of his things, though she definitely is eyeing up the gemstones because she likes shiny, shiny things. Noted. <laughs> All right, let's flash over. Is Plyas around? No, he's not around. Okay. And when he gets back. He's lost in the woods somewhere. He is lost, lost in the woods. Yeah, it's totally understandable. I don't blame him. Um, yeah, I don't know. Is chainmail medium armor? Yes. Is it heavier than that? No, it's medium. Because I am a martial, um, 
medium armor, shields, and light armor, and change, yeah. Why, should we flash back to you now, or do you need to eat? No, let's go for it. Yeah, sorry, I just had to get my food. Yeah, no, no, don't be sorry. All right, we flash back to Plyus, uh wearing the serpent amulet, feeling hardier, feeling like he just cast something, but he's not sure what, and in the woods near the river. Whoa. Um, can I try my setting stone again? You can. Is it? Hello? Uh, hey, guys. It's Am. You're there? Um, yeah, let me, let me think for a minute. <laughs> um, God. Next campaign. No setting stones. I'm telling you right now. Um, uh, it is the next morning for you guys. This is the next morning for you guys. So we're not 100% sure what's been going on. But one of you... Finric, your sending stone goes off. Mm -hmm. And it's Plyce. And it's the next morning, and you guys are probably about to... Well, I guess, let me ask you this. Were you going to head off that night or that afternoon? You can continue with them for a while if you want. All right, let's continue with them for a while. Yeah, let's continue with them. Sorry about that. No, it's fine. All right, yeah. I would think that we'd notice that we've already spent quite a bit of time here and that we're not going to we're not likely to get to fall Rip before he has had a long rest would be my guess um if anyone disagrees let me know but i sort of feel like we would stay nearby um, like and then plan to do something in the morning i mean if you guys want to start you, you you have the compass you know which way it points mm -hmm. If you wanted to jet off, I mean, it is like, yeah, it's a little after one on idyllic. I mean, I think that Agnes would know that if doing a long rest would not be good because although we would all be quote unquote fresh, so would he, and we would have to start all over again. We know that he's used up a lot of spell slots. Yeah. And that if we do a short rest, we might be able to do some um, temporary hit points. I could do Song of Rest so you get an extra 1d6. Um, mm -hmm. And then he would only be able to get like maybe one or two spell slots back, depending on whatever wizards can do. And we can ask Wizard what that might be like. I don't know. I don't know if it would be wise to allow for a full rest to occur. Well, I mean, we can go after him now, but if it gets to nightfall and we don't feel like we're close, like if it's getting to the time where he would have had a chance to do a long rest, I think we need to call it. Because the worst thing would be if we came across him when he's had fun and we haven't. Mm -hmm. We're also assuming we know where he is. Our best guess is probably that he's at his tower, right? So that's where we'd head. And if he's not there, you know, what do we do then? Well, he had the compass. We had the compass. Ooh, look at the compass. It still points to the south, southwest. All right. He's over there. Well, Agnes and Twizzard can both do polymorph. So we can start flying people over. And I'm sure it won't take more than an hour to fly. Well, I don't, we don't know that for certain, but. I don't know too many spell slots. I know. Talon and Sir Penn are you talking about this? And they say that we could if you need to go after your friend, we understand. We we could stay here and meet up with the townsfolk and take charge of any gold that needs to be divided up. 
Yes, what we had last time was too many people. <laughs> well, it's just the one man now, right? All right. Maybe. Last Drone, what are you doing? Two. Okay, so what, what does Drone do? I don't know. You're Drone. <laughs> What what is the what is the goal? All right, there's no goal. It's D and D. I got it. Okay. Well, the goal ah, is rich quick. Polias wanted to take down Falrith, and That's now Falrith has Polias. Now they're all gallivanting together. And the goal, I would say, is to find Polias mm -hmm. and take down Falrith. What if we find him and he's happy? <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. Well, I guess Drum will go with. So how so get you horses? Go, how, yeah, what, what's the plan? Horses? You can get horses? I'm sure that there's horses in a stable nearby. There are. There are horses in the royal stable. It's pretty much the only place there's horses. And the, the guard would tell us that, right? We should take the guard with us. You should interrogate the guard. That's like a key plot point right here that we've overlooked. <laughs> Oh, I haven't overlooked it. <laughs> Fair enough. Not addressed tonight, to this point. All right, uh, Vinny and Twizzard both cast Mage Hand and slap the guard in the face. <laughs> Talk. What? Uh, uh, stop. What is slapping me? <laughs> <laughs> you, you cut off the king's head. He wasn't using it anymore. Partly pulled. He was dead. What do you people want? Oh, well, in case you didn't realize, we wanted to uh, overthrow this monarchy because it was not treating its people, or at least the people that are on the outside of the wall, very nicely. These people are scum. You're scum. Yeah, where did you come from? A noble. Noble born. And just because you're noble doesn't make you any better than the people who live out there and work very hard to keep this city fed, clothed, safe. He just sort of scowls at you. Hmm. Then he says, I'm more noble than you are. <clears throat> Spits at you. Scowl back. Anyway, so are we going to cut off this guy's head too? Do we need more answers? Mm -hmm. Where's the treasure room? I'm not going to tell you anything. Nah, we don't need him to tell us. We have the keys. If you want to kill me, left. kill me and get it over with. We don't want to kill you. The, while you have the chance. Mm-mm. Why? Why will we not have the chance? Is there a dragon coming now? He sort of looks up at you when you say that. Um, give me an insight check. All right. Can I do this with advantage since Lily and Agnes are probably both... Sure. Suspicious. Agnes is definitely more suspicious because she's been dealing with Sir Skulldrake, whatever. Is it Sir or is it just Skulldrake? It's just Skulldrake. Just Skulldrake. All right, who am I? Agnes is guy. Uh, insight. <clears throat> I don't think I'll need the advantage, but 23. Uh, at the mention of a, of a, at the mention of a dragon coming, you 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 see him you see him flinch in an odd way you, you get the feeling that that's like the furthest from what he's thinking mm -hmm. but he's still startled you said it if that makes sense okay i have detect thoughts should i cast that I mean, do you want to use... Oh, that's Vinny. Mm -hmm. Yeah, why not? You haven't used any of your the, arcane tricks. The text, stuff, have you? the text thoughts during an interrogation seems like a good use of it. <laughs> All right, Vinny's going to cast 
detect thoughts on this clown. Okay. So that does... Let me, re let me read that real quick. Yeah, I know. There's a lot to it. There's two different levels, right? Or is that... He's doing second level. I only have second level, yeah. Only have second level. Mm. It's the best level. Question verbally directed at a target creature naturally shaped the course of its thoughts. So the spell is particularly effective as part of an interrogation. <laughs> uh, okay, so the surface... You initially learn the surface thoughts of the creature. Mm -hmm. uh, they're definitely scared for their life. They may be putting up a brave face. Uh, they do think they're above you. Um, they do think they're noble-born. Um, so if you probe deeper, I'm going to make a wisdom saving throw. But that that's, that's the surface level thoughts. I'm definitely probing deeper. All right. What, what save do I have to make? Ooh, that's going to be pretty good. That's an 18. I'm assuming that's a pass. You, know, you have to look up what the save is. Oh, sorry. Um, it is a wisdom of 14. Yeah, he saves. Mm. Uh, so you sort of feel him resist your mind. Uh, however, when he feels you, or, or, or when he actively resists you, um... the surface level thoughts that you're still getting uh, get even more scared. You get the idea that this has been done to him before. And now that he's aware that it's being done, he's even more scared and nervous. Mm. Who else has done this to you? Uh, he remains silent, uh, but you get visions of Falrith sort of like mm. from 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 the detect thoughts right because uh, you know as ver questions verbally directed at the target creature naturally shape the course of its thought gotcha all right so i tell everyone uh fall has has questioned this guy just like i'm doing right now um when you say that out loud he says <laughs> what do you know of fall Uh, Vinny know. doesn't know anything of Falrith. Well, I know he's this creepy old guy that just took one of our dudes. Disappeared. I take his head out of the bag. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, you see his sort of, like, facade just, like, crack even more. Um, and he's like... Who, who are you people? I, I, I saw him. <laughs> ah, freaking I, I saw him alive. I, when, when did you take his head? It's been a long time coming. Mm. <laughs> this is Falworth number two. No, don't say. Oh, I was talking to someone else. Uh, all right let me go and I'll tell you about the operation here how about you tell us about the operation then and we let you live we let you go. no I'd rather die well you're not going to die though I'm going to throw this rope over the rafter. I'm going to tie it around your wiener, and I'm going to pull on it and lift you up. <laughs> Give me an intimidation check. <laughs> I'm intimidated. Eight. No. Oh. He's like... That's <laughs> a pretty good threat. Um... <laughs> Who was saying this? Twizzard or Vinny? It was Vinny. Vinny. But Twizzard was nodding. <laughs> sure he was. Um, <laughs> look. <laughs> um, I throw the I rope over there. Tell. Rack. He's now talking to Vinny. He's like, I can tell you are from a noble family. 
so let's let's you and I talk alone. You talk through the mind and okay. <laughs> detect thoughts. How long does the detect thoughts last? I think it's like ten minutes. Yeah, no, it's still active. Oh no, it's only up to one minute. Oh, one minute. But it's yeah. probably still active. Uh, I don't know. Maybe not. Yeah. Uh, what I have, I can only tell another nobleborn. Mm, that's me. Uh, uh, Lily is noble born. She's like, uh, yeah. She walks out. Uh, I am more noble than either of you two. What about me? <laughs> is, that, is that true? Yeah, I guess we're... <laughs> this situation is ridiculous. Where are... Uh, uh, <laughs> Oh my god! Look, just untie me and I'll tell you all. <laughs> no. You could tell us noble people, and then we'll determine if the others are worthy of knowing it. What? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, look, I don't know. What do you want to know? Oh, about the operation, about what Falrith is up to, or was up to. Tell us what you know about Falrith. We send, we send what able-bodied citizens we can find on the first dalk of every month to the mines up north. The ship comes back, laden with gold. That's all I know. Do the people come back too? No. And in fact, if we can't find enough participants from the outside town, any uh, lower performing soldiers take their place. Non noble born, of course. Um, and then I think Lily's going to ask about um, Hildebrand. Is Hildebrand in on this too? Wait, when you say Hildebrand. Is it Hildegard? It's Hildegard. It's the... Hildegard. Okay, Hildegard. All right. Uh, no, I, I, that name does not sound familiar to me. As Telling a noble you. person, you should know. For shame. I would have sent you to the mines. Just because she's not part of South Gorson doesn't mean you shouldn't know of other nobility. She is royalty. Uh, he looks uh, slightly nonplussed, but also he doesn't care that much what you think. So. Well, I mean, isn't that nonplussed? <laughs> yeah. It's fair. He's still tied up on the floor, so. Yeah. He's not in a great spot. I think Lily steps on his hand or something like that as she walks around him. <laughs> oh, nice. <sighs> All right, well, we clearly have not really had a true revolution until we oh, figure out everything, but maybe that's a, another day. What else can this guy give us? I uh, poke him. Tell us where Pelias is. I don't even know who that is. No. Where is... Falrith's, uh, not his room here at the castle, but where he stays. The king. The king gave him a keep on the river south of here. How far on horse? At least 30 miles, I'd say. Ugh. 30 miles. How much on foot? He sort of looks over at Draw. He's like, 30, 30 miles? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Sometimes there's just like a horse lane. I think we should just throw this guy into one of the... Uh, Rivers? No, into one of the cells. Until we have all the things that we need. And we'll let the townsfolk decide what to do with his noble ass. Mm. He doesn't like that very much. Look, I've been very helpful. 
Just set me go and I'll disappear. Mm, no. Last time we let some guards go, they told the king that we were coming and ruined our surprise. Bunch of tattletales. So no. Uh, all right, where's the... Um, I could the show you to the treasure room. Yes, we'll take that too. Also the jail. If you let me go. Treasure no. room first, jail second. We'll find the treasure room. It might not be today, but I'm sure that there are people who... He turns away from Agnes and Lily and looks at you, Vinny. You'll never find the treasure room without me, friend. Okay, you can take us to the jail or the treasure room. It's your choice. Let's go. If I show you the treasure room... Then that's where I like Do you. I have your word that you'll let me go? Uh, I will let you go, yes. <laughs> <laughs> he does an inside check. 13. <laughs> Why did you say it like that? <laughs> I don't know. I don't think we should let him go. We'll let him go. Well, Lily doesn't know you, so how would she know that that's what you mean? I, I look around and I keep forgetting I don't know these See, people. See, she's taking it that you're noble <laughs> and that what you say is truth, like nobility. She doesn't want bad nobles. She wants to be a good noble. She wants to. I'm not a bad noble. I'm angry noble. Uh, my my noble You're family. A true was, noble. My noble family was killed. Good noble. Mm. I want revenge. Well. Oh. All right. So you guys bring in. Do you, uh, I guess I guess Reggie told you where the cells were. Yes. Yes. Yeah. It's basically we, the back door over here. And there's a staircase down. Yeah, let, let's bring him to cells, and then he, then we could either go to the treasure room or we could go get Pelias and then go to the treasure room. Uh, I don't want to figure out the treasure room. Well, we should have we should have, I guess, Pen and or Talon. If Talon needs to leave, Talon, I guess, can leave. But maybe Pen can um, stand guard. Pen can guard. Oh, we'll put Pen in the treasure room. We don't know where the treasure room is yet. But, I mean, we'll find it real quick. Put Pen in it, and then we'll go get Pelias. Why don't we just let Pen just? Pen will do whatever he needs to do. You probably want to look for the treasure room. Okay. All right. And although Lily can't carry, well, I mean, she probably could carry the long sword, but she's got the great axe now. She can pick up the long sword. Is that something that Pelias would want? The long sword? Was it right? <laughs> I mean, she figures that somebody's going to want it, so don't pick it up. I just want some gems, too. Yeah, well, I'm sure that we will figure out what to do with those gems. <laughs> Alright, let's, let's lock this clown up. Let's go get Pelias. Alright, so you lock the, the, you, yeah. you lock the clown up. Easier, easy enough. The uh, one of the one of the keys uh, opens the door to the cell block, um, and you're able to lock him away. And we've removed all of his items. Like he doesn't have a sword. He doesn't have keys okay. of his own. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Done. He's down to his skivvies. Down to his skivvies. Mm, Souvenir. Glowering at you as you leave him in the dark. Yeah. We promise we will let you go. Just not today. Alright. Alright, are you going after Plyce tonight? I think it? so. Uh, Maybe. I mean, Agnes can make a tiny hut if we need to have a long rest. Or a short rest, or whatever. Like. Well, how long would it take us to, to ride to the castle? Overnight? The overnight thing? 30 miles is... How many can a horse do? Let's put, Four let's, an put hour? The, let's put the tiny hut on a horse and cart and get a townsperson to drive us there. <laughs> we can sleep in the back. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know if I don't know if you can do that. Trying to find out. But essentially we will arrive there refreshed. Uh 
I mean, he yeah, he, he said it was 30 miles. Um, you could get some horses and get a cart and start heading out. How fast would the horse with the cart? Like, if we had two horses or four horses or whatever pulling a cart. Yeah. Um, and we would probably be trying to go at a fairly fast pace. Well, faster than walking, right? So. Yeah. Might as yeah. Well just... So, yeah, walking, forced, forced march walking, you could do 30 miles in a day. Horse would increase that. Let's see, where's my horse at? Where's my horse at? You get some war horses. Distance per oh, day, yeah. 48 miles. Mm. You go six hours, six, six miles per hour. All right, so then it would take us five hours to get there. So if we leave at, let's say, two o'clock, we'll get there by seven. If you're, if you're riding hard, yeah. So we could do a short rest? Well, you'd have to do the short rest before you leave. But well, we can't do it on the back of the cart? <laughs> no. Not, well, well, I mean... I mean, Falrith is already going to have a short rest. But at this point, is he going to now have a long rest? Well, there's still one of him and all of us, so... But then it brings up Finric's point as to then should we just get a long rest? If Farrit's going to get a long rest, then we should get a long rest. Should we just get a long rest? Yeah, I mean, I don't think it's fair that he gets one and we don't get one. Okay. All right. Then we could use the rest of the time to search for the treasure room, and then we could have a long rest. We can let the townspeople in. I lay down in the corner. We'll have a little memorial service for Kitty Law. Yeah. No, Reggie, uh, Reggie will eventually get there. Uh, and uh, be devastated, but understand that she gave her life for the cause. We'll Maybe of... he won't see that she's been beheaded because we wrapped up her body nicely. Were you going to try to mend the head back onto the body? <laughs> Look back on. Uh, we I mean, discussed that at one point. <laughs> I mean, Agnes can't do the mending, uh, whatchamacallit, but she is pretty good with a needle and thread, so she could at least... Sew it back on. Yeah, I mean, if you guys want to, if you want to obscure the fact that she was beheaded, I think that, given the amount of, I feel like with Agnes's um, theatrical training, she probably could do a good mortician makeup too, if she needed to. It's up to you. But she's gonna be wrapped up, and maybe they'll burn her on a bonfire or something like that, and. And then it won't work. matter if she was beheaded or not. Till the that. flames kick up. And Reggie, then Reggie comes up. in and he's like, what are you doing? No, he's kidding. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> let's say that, yeah, you, you. So I, I guess, are you doing the long rest overnight? Yeah. Okay. Sure. All right. All right. All right, so we'll do a little bit Down of uh, yeah. You 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 tend to the dead, the rebels who are alive get there. Give a fitting, uh, fitting but brief uh, memorial service to the folks who were slain by the King Hunax. Uh You 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 tell some story to Reggie. Did she fall in battle fighting the king? Or did she? What what story? What do you tell the living rebels happened to Kitty Lot? Well, Agnes wasn't there to see it, unfortunately. So it's going to have to be up to Twizzard, Vinny, and Pelias, who is not here. So Twizzard and Vinny, I guess what? Yeah, let me. You can. You are. You are. You are sufficiently skilled to make the body look however you want it to. Um, they're not going to be like inspecting a dead body. Uh, so the question is, yeah, what story do you folks want to tell the townspeople? What was the end of Kitty Laud like? Uh, she was 
fighting the king on her own as best she could uh, when we came in. Tried to assist her, but um, king took her out before we could get to her. All right. <clears throat> All right. Night the hero's death. All right. Sounds good. Um. Uh, so that that all happens. Um, that night, uh, the, the the there's much rejoicing throughout all of the city, um, and in fact, uh, all of the with all the doors thrown open to the inner city, um, the empty, or you know the the the, the outer uh, dregs and, and and slums have emptied into the inner city. Um, throughout the course of the afternoon to the evening, uh, you're basically getting reports that the noble houses are predominantly empty. Uh, there were some, uh, families still there, um, but they almost welcomed the encroaching uh, people and while some did get perhaps uh, abused to some degree, um, it would seem that predominantly what was left in the inner city were the nobles who were serving in the um, in the king's army. There were some women and children, but not that many. Um, it definitely you're, you're you're definitely getting these like intermittent reports that things were not that great, even in the inner city. Uh, and with basically the entire <laughs> male population of soldiers wiped out by this rebellion, there is this sort of odd dynamic now between the the peasants folk who have, who have basically been led into the kingdom only to find that stores are running low that most of the buildings of Empion have been that way for a while uh, sort of the overgrown lawns that you guys had seen earlier is not that uncommon at all uh, it seems that this was not the utopia that it was made out to be. But again, you guys are just sort of getting snippets of this uh, as, as this happens. But uh, if you want to stay the night, it's easy enough to find rooms in the castle. Um, if you search for the treasury, you can find it. It's not, it's not like it's hidden. And sure enough, your keys will unlock the doors to it. Um, inside, are, it's, like, it's like Scrooge McDuck's piles of money. <laughs> There's just thousands and thousands of gold pieces. Um, gold and platinum. We need that. Um, but yeah, you guys have a long rest. You will wait. Uh, before the long rest, yeah. I am going to ask Mr. Twizzard if he could identify something for me. Sure. I know, I know, but just... Not if you do it as ritual. You know, yeah. right. But just, you know, before we move on, I yeah. would like for him to take a look at those iron cuff things that I got in Wesleyville. Oh. 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 Uh, yeah. It was like three different medals or something Wait, did like you that? get them in the attack against yeah. Sir Penn? Uh-huh. And I was going to get them identified by, um, by, um, what's his name? Wimblecat. And I think he told me what it was, that it was for binding, but that there was a special word that I needed to pay for in order to get it. Yeah, the iron bands of binding. Um, yes. Um, all right, so Twizzard, here I can, yeah, the Rusty Iron Sphere. Uh, 
All right, coming at you via the via the magic of the internet. By sending stone. Yes, by vi by visual sending stone. Um, and the magic word, the magic word is. What is the magic word? The magic word is whatever you want it to be. Oh, okay. Bananasaurus. <laughs> it's probably not Bananasaurus. No. Yeah. That's more fun anyway. Yeah. Uh, okay. Any other things before your long rest? Uh, yes, before long rest. I go and look see if I can find Mr. Bones' bones. You're able to do so. They're outside uh, where the first fireball hit thrown by her. You never found out the name of Amazing. Um, can I reassemble them? Are they charred? Uh, they're, they're charred, but you can reassemble them, sure. Mm -hmm. All right, I do that, and I reanimate him. Can you press prestidigation them? Like, would that take the char off? Yeah, you want to clean them up? Yeah, I clean them up as best I can. Dip right. them in milk. Mr. Bones is back. <laughs> yeah, welcome back, buddy. You missed a lot. <laughs> all right. All right, so you all find um, suitably comfortable, if not recently cleaned, uh, bedding and rooms uh, in the Fallen King. And basically, there's like looting and partying and bonfires and like shouting and hollering going on all night um yeah it's 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 like the it's like the french revolution only you know everyone's already dead so it's just going it's just like yeah it's crazy uh, but you do uh after a hard one battle uh exhausted uh you end up falling asleep eventually uh and you wake the next morning Fenric, you wake the next morning your sending stone going off. Yes. Go, Pelias. Uh, Eric, or uh, can anyone hear me? Oh, Hello? man. Hey, yeah. Oh, wait, what? Pelias? Yeah, man, this is Pelias. You guys can hear me? My sending stone wasn't working. Oh, I, I, I can hear you. Dude, I, I was kidnapped by Falrith. I, he, he, like, took me up to this tower or something. I, I, I just got out, but I'm hiding in the woods. You're hiding in the woods. Um, I think you're south of us, and we're going to be heading down today. So I don't know if you um, might want to make your way north and meet up with us just a little ways up. <clears throat> um, yeah, I'm not really uh, sure which way north is, but I can maybe look for the, the sun. sun, I guess. I can yeah. follow that. I guess I'm a skater. You're an adventurer. You can figure out which way north is. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but listen, um, I don't know. It was really weird. Uh, Valrith, he just kind of like fell out the window. Like I pushed him out with my snake. He seemed kind of, um, I don't know if I surprised him or if, or if he's setting something up. So just be careful when you guys come up. Wait, is he, he, he's just roaming around? I don't know. Like I pushed him out the window and then I, I i didn't see him after that so i don't know if he like was was messing with me or something but are you sure you know where i am well we have uh if you're near describe well i think so because we have the compass that points to him and yeah yeah so use the compass but there's some there's some running water there's a tower i was like 30 feet up in uh in yeah this, you know, jail cell it's his castle by the water yeah we've heard of that okay I think right, that's cool. where, I, that's south. That's south of, you know, the big castle. Okay. Uh, all right. Well, so I I got my amulet on, but that's still the only protection I I kind of have right now because I left my sword and shield and stuff up in his uh his parlor. That can happen. Yeah, we might want to go get that later, just so <laughs> I can get back. But yeah, I mean, I don't know. It was a it was a weird weird thing. So. Uh, yeah, if you see a big snake, that might be me. Gotcha. Do you have your snake staff, by the way? No, that's what I used to, um, to push them out the window, and, and it disappeared when, when they both fell out the window. So, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. 
Interesting. Interesting. All right. Well, we'll uh, we'll see you later today. All right. Yeah. Well. Yeah. You know. Have your breakfast and uh, <laughs> you come on down and we'll uh, show you a good time. No rush. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know. It's cool. <laughs> End of call. <laughs> End of call. <laughs> so, uh, I guess I tell the other folks. Talon's like, yep. so, so your friend is safe for the moment. Yeah, I mean, you know, he's alone in the woods, so he's probably pretty scared. I haven't felt that way in a long time. <laughs> um, you said we no, I, w I wouldn't be scared. Looks at you. Insight check. No. Um, <laughs> I feel like I should retrieve the refugees and bring them back to this land now that the scourge of a king has been disposed of. I agree. And uh, Astrid and stuff. Probably want to get back to him. He should stay relatively safe. But I should get back to him sooner rather than later. <laughs> he All right. obeys my commands for the most part. <laughs> well, uh... He's good with the kids. Yeah. Mm. Well, it's been a pleasure. Indeed it has. Are you all then sticking together? Or... Your various quests you have to get to? <laughs> well, you could tell um, the Baroness that we probably won't be able to make it back for the festival. The Lumberjack Festival. Is this true, Fenric? Uh... It's not not true. I see. If we can make it, we want to Is make it. Is there no it. way we can make it? We might be able to. I don't know. I mean, how much time has passed? Uh, let's see. Since how much time has passed? How much time has passed? Since the... Since you left? Yeah. Because when was the festival supposed to be? Like, in another couple weeks? <laughs> Agnes is in a bog. Finistel leaves. That was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 days ago. I feel like we can make it. Yeah, if we leave today. Get Polrith on the way out. Come back from Treasure Room, then go back. I mean, we do have to get back to the boat. Does I mean, uh, Drom or Pen over here, Lily, saying, well, we do need to get back to the boat? Sure. Should I roll? They can hear that. Oh. Um, we, we were on your boat. Oh, sorry. I got Drom voice is a little lower. Oh, we were on your boat. <laughs> That's better. <laughs> With our boat? With uh, Nate and Jenkins, yes. They took us to uh, uh, Tulu. That's our boat. Cool boat, huh? So where are they now? Are they okay? I they, they said they were going back to where they were otherwise waiting for you. Oh, okay. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. So we're going to have to get to that river again. Oh, boy. Hmm. All right. Well, I guess we're going to have to go back that way to get to the boat. So we'll definitely pass through the baronies again. We'll just need to maybe not be there at the same time as the festival, depending on. Yeah. Just... Well, you know, we'll see how that goes. Leave it to Pete. Talon comes up and grasps your hand, Finric, and he says, Gift from the Baroness. 
And when he takes his hand away, you have a pearl in your hand. Hmm. Uh. And he uh, prepares to leave north along the road. I look around. Let's see. I've got animal crackers. Um. <laughs> he doesn't see you plowing through some your bags. Look who uh, got some soap. <laughs> Herbalism kit. Have a wooden box that smells of cherries. I haven't <laughs> used that yet. Oh, she might like that. Yeah. Smells okay. Rare. I, I give uh I, I give him the, the wooden box that smells of cherries. With a lock of your hair in it. What is uh what is this, Rick? This is for the Baroness. Indeed. Is that weird? Or is I that shall weird? see that it gets to her. The lock of hair from from your loved one is supposed to be something very, like intimate. Mm -hmm. I try not to look. Haven't you ever read the Rape of the Curl? Try not to look. <laughs> All right, so Talon is going to head north to basically get the refugees and bring them back, uh, rather than risk the forest. Do. Well, yeah, I guess, yeah. And All the right. ones that went to the south are back, right? Correct. Like the ones that were leading out to Correct. the uh, diversion. Yeah, they returned just before the battle at the gates. Okay. Or, you know, midnight before the battle at the gates. All right, I think you guys on horseback heading south. I guess, I guess, yeah, that, well, that's the question. Who, who all is heading south? Is it everyone but Talon? Uh, Sir Penn's in the treasure room. He's swimming in there. He's comparing his pearls to those pearls. Mm-hmm. All right. Sir Penn stays behind. I mean, it depends on how much more we're going tonight, because... I think we're if... probably not going any more tonight. Okay, well then maybe Sir Pen can come with us. All right, all right, we'll leave that we'll leave that decision up to next session. But I think most of us were going like the whole Ateum. Agnes would go, Lily would go. Okay. All right. I'm guessing Vinny would go wherever Agnes goes, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and wherever Tristan goes. I think Drum would go where the fight is. Anywhere a fight is. Yeah. Nice. All right. All right, I think that's where we'll break for tonight, then. Um, you all get to level up. Ooh! Nice. Even me? Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, you Absolutely. were part of the major fight. That was a major yeah, fight. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm like, I don't know if I'm, like, some place where I can't level up. You can definitely level up. Not even that works where you are. <laughs> wow. Right. Is, is it every character? Or... Just a Vinny. I think so. Well, well let's discuss the minutia. Um, thank you all for watching. Thank you all for playing. And we'll see you next time mm. on BND Live.